Florida needs to make up its mind because it is freezing out today. It's about 50 degrees with a high of 60. We're here at Universal Studios today. Welcome to your daily dose of, can't do it today. Welcome to your daily dose of parks. <laughs> we are here today at Universal Studios. I just found out that Universal has like early park admission. You get in an hour early at one of the parks and this time it's gonna be Islands of the Venture. And I think it's usually Islands of the Venture, which is gonna be the left side of the park, which has Hagrid, so we're gonna see how many times we might be able to ride Hagrid today. It is a Saturday, so it is probably gonna be a little bit busier, but how you can participate in the early admission is if you guys are staying at one of the Universal hotels, or if you guys are a preferred or premium annual pass holder, and I have a preferred, I believe, it's like the second highest here. This is going to be my first time ever doing this, so I can't really compare on how busy it is, but the line is right here. A lot of these guests in line are gonna be those that are staying at a Universal Hotel because they just let the parking on in. So a majority of these are gonna be staying at a Universal, Universal Hotel. Today the park opens at nine, but the early admission lets you get in at eight in the morning. Also this guy's in shorts. <laughs> it's freezing out today. I probably should have gotten here at what, like about 7.15 in the morning, but the parking lot didn't open that early, so these are literally all the hotel guests that are here super duper early. We're also not really uh, social distancing, so there's that. No one's really enforcing it, there's nothing on the ground either. If you're an annual pass holder, have your pass and your ID handy. If you have tickets, make sure you've got those tickets out and ready for each member of your group. That's gonna help us get through as quickly as possible. That's Express Pass. They actually get to skip the long lines. They do pay an extra fee for Express. Didn't know they get in the park early though. If you had Express. Hello. Thanks. About 20 minutes later, and we are now in Island of adventure. Now as you know, when a theme park opens, it might not be operating to what we are used to because this is what I like to call assess the situation. Um, Hagrid's, that's why we came here in the morning to ride Hagrid's, is currently not open. So I wanna go over, the, the, over there to see if they're actually queued up at the moment. A um, Little bit bummed that it didn't open with the park because obviously that's what everybody wants to ride. It's literally like the best attraction here at uh, I think honestly any park because Hagrid's is such a cool roller coaster. Let's check out Velociraptor, which is actually opening sometime this summer, which is their brand new coaster. But uh, let's go assess the situation, see if they line, let us line up for Hagrid's. It is important to note too that not every ride opens early with this early park access. Looks like they want us to have our passes out so they can check it as we go on over here to us. Uh, I believe it's just Seuss's Landing. It's interesting, didn't, didn't we just scan into the park? Time. Thank you. Good morning. You're going to show this hotel keys or email Hello. Awesome. Thank you. Interesting. I didn't know they did that. You got to show your hotel keys or your annual pass. This is what mine looks like, by the way, if you're wondering. It's blue. Preferred annual pass. There is way more people here than I thought there would be. Keep in mind, it is kind of like spring break down here in Florida now, but it is also a weekend. Just didn't expect this many people here. It's nuts. There's Velocicoaster, hopefully opening sometime this summer. That's what it is posted. I am not a fan of Dr. Seuss's landing, honestly. This stuff always creeped me out as a kid. I don't know, comment down below if it creeps you out too. I just don't enjoy it, it's so creepy. I wasn't a fan of Willy Wonka, it reminds me of Willy Wonka. Now, if you're also wondering too, annual pass holders don't get to do this all year round. All the hotel guests do get to have the early access, I believe. Um, just the annual pass holders, we have certain dates where we can do this. I think it's all of February, a little bit of March. I don't know, you can go to the website and actually check out if you guys are an annual pass holder. We're about to find out if we will be able to line up for Hagrid's, but however, I feel like that's gonna be such an insane line. We'll figure it out in one second. It does look like they are allowing us to queue on up for Hagrid's. It is experience delay, so they're actually telling us to use our early park admission wisely. I wonder if we should stand in line. Usually I wouldn't, but I never come here. I don't suggest standing in line. 
Oh, just kidding. You're not allowed in the queue. Huh. The question is, this is the situation. Should we wait around here for Hagrid's? Now I'm going to because this isn't vacation for me. I'm just curious to see when this will open for you guys. So I'm gonna stick around here in Harry Potter world and see when Hagrid's opens. You hate when rides get delayed, but obviously it always happens. I'm gonna figure it out for you guys. All right, now we're learning as we're going here. So I just found out that on some days, Hagrid's is actually a virtual line instead of a queue. I'm assuming they're doing that right now because it's super duper busy on the weekends because I was here during the week and they didn't do it, but they're gonna have a virtual pass option, kind of just like Rise of the Resistance. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. And I want you guys to do that too, because obviously I didn't know this. I thought it was gonna be like a regular line, but it's gonna be a virtual queue. So we're actually gonna go throughout the park, see if we can get on anything else. We'll try to get a virtual pass. It is delayed, but just for you guys' knowledge, it is a virtual queue. Perfect, let's go do something. Just to confirm, I just did ask a team member, it is only virtual for Hagrid's. On the weekends, weekdays, there will not be a virtual queue. Only the weekends. Lucky us. I'm such a rookie when it comes to Universal, but now I know, and now you guys know, on some days, Hagrid's is a virtual. I don't know, if you guys did know that, comment down below, because I feel like an idiot right now. A look at the beautiful castle. How long is that wait? 60 minutes already? What is going on? I thought this was early park admission. Holy cow. All right, well, goodbye Harry Potter world. Oh, here's a fun fact. It's not even open over here. Well, there goes our plan. I have an idea. Sheesh. Can't even go this way. <laughs> wow, I'm happy I'm here for you guys because holy cow, I'm lost. We'd have to go all the way back. I'm sitting here looking through the app and nothing has posted wait times. I don't know which rides are open and which ones aren't. All right, we're gonna take a walk through the park just to see which rides may be open. I know King Kong's not even open because half the park is closed. Hulk's not even operating. So I'm kind of just like wondering what is open at the moment for this early park admission. Everyone obviously does it for Hagrid. So with that delayed, I don't really know what's what's up and running right here. Let's go find this out for you. With Hagrid's being a virtual queue, now it makes no sense for me to just be sitting on over there. So we're gonna head on over to the other side of Islands Adventure to see what actually is open. Oh, these are gonna be the regular guests, see this? That's the regular guests who do not have early access. Ah, that makes sense. So far, this early admission has just been a miss. We haven't done absolutely nothing. And if the wait times right now are like 60 minutes for like that small roller coaster ride in Harry Potter Land, it's gonna be crazy today. This is this is just oh my gosh. Here comes more people that are just gonna go to Harry Potter World and just be like, what's going on? Nothing. It's all closed. Making our way over here to the other side of Island of Adventure. Let's see what is open. I hope something is, but I guarantee it's gonna be like a 60 minute wait. Those on the left and right do not have early parks access. They're not missing anything out though. <laughs> there is a line for Hulk that is formed because they are not a virtual queue. That might be smart to do. If only I could film that for you guys. It is testing, it is not open for early access go on in maybe we'll go go right Kong let's do that we'll, we'll wait we'll wait for that I haven't been in Kong in over three years so we'll head on over there and hopefully Hagrid's will be open by then or we'll get a virtual queue we'll see and if you guys did not know over at Universal Studios the other park here they're having Mardi Gras over there spider-man's not open actually wait a second spider-man's entrance is no longer right over here it's gonna be over here somewhere. There's a sign telling us to come on over here for the entrance. Maybe it is open. Very interesting. It does actually look like Spider-Man is open. So one of like three rides that is open right now. Spider-Man is a 15 minute wait. Kind of nuts. And here's like the barrier for them to let us in at nine o'clock for the whole park to be open. 
the highlight of my day so far has been the restroom. <laughs> it actually smells really good in there. I don't know how long it's gonna keep up for the day, but good job, Universal. Your bathroom smells amazing. So far, my review on early admission here at Universal Islands Adventure has been a miss. Obviously, I've done nothing. I mean, there's only like two rides open at the moment. Um, if Hagrid's was open, it would be great, but at the moment, it's just been like, why did I get up? <laughs> and the stampede begins. Can I see a look behind me? A lot of people here on the weekend. A lot of people. People are running. Gosh. Now I'm assuming the whole park is open for everybody, so this weekend is just gonna be jam packed. Good news is we'll be able to get on one ride. I don't think anyone's gonna be riding water rides today. We got a high of 60. Pretty cold. When do you ever see Kong as a 10 minute wait? Never. Are you on route with the replacements and supplies for Team 2? Yeah, Millie. On the way. That ain't you speak the language. hard time waiting for that line for over like 80 minutes it's really cool but it's a very short attraction um, again it's gonna be those you know screen rides you have to wear glasses I didn't wear them at all and I still thought it was kind of cool without um, but um yeah we just got off that ride it looks like Hagrid's is still delayed at 9.08 and I'm assuming this park is gonna be extremely packed today if Hagrid's is down I don't really know what else to do at this park because that's really what I wanted to go on today let me know your opinions about kong down below let's see if the wait time went up it went up to 45 minutes what <laughs> we made our way back over here and <laughs> the forbidden journey is a 90 minute wait since hagrid's is still down i'm a little bit disappointed we're gonna head on over to uh, Universal Studios. I wanna see how crowded it is over there. Maybe go on one ride. Looks like I have to go the long way because to take the train across, it's $50. I would consider this the long way right now. It's crazy. If I had to rate my early park access here at Universal, out of 10, I'd probably give it a two. It was honestly pointless. The only thing that we benefited from was being in the park a little bit further than the regular park guests to be one of the first on, I almost said Hulk, but Kong. On a normal day, it would have probably been better if um, Hagrid's was open and it would have been a virtual queue, but I, I don't know if Hagrid's is open regularly first without a virtual queue. I don't know, but uh, it was a pretty uh, weird experience to say the least. On weekends, it's probably not worth it, and on weekdays, it might be worth it. I don't know, I just felt like we just had a very different experience from what people usually have. As you know, Mardi Gras is going on at the moment. It doesn't all open until 11. No one's throwing beads, food, the food and beer and alcohol. is isn't all until 11 o'clock. This park doesn't actually seem as packed. I do want to take a second to go on Jimmy Fallon's ride here. I think it is virtual only. We'll see if we can get a boarding group right away. Well, I did want to ride Jimmy Fallon's, but check this out. I've been trying to get a virtual queue. It's not working. I went on Wi-Fi. I went off Wi-Fi. They say it's working, but it's really not working at the moment. A little bit bummed. I really wanted to go on that, but I think 
that is gonna be it for today's daily video ever everybody kind of a, a very learning curve experience here today and I think a lot of you guys might have learned something as well there's a lot of things I didn't know about about that early park access that now I do know about on the weekend here specifically today it is extremely extremely crowded didn't really get anything done with the early access let me know you guys opinion on that Did you guys have a better experience than I have because um, that really was just kind of pointless in my opinion but that's gonna be it for today's video, everybody. If you guys are new around here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, thumbs the video up. Look at the constant stream of people just coming in behind me. Weekends here at Universal are, are nuts. Um, that was it, and uh, that was your daily dose of parks. See you guys tomorrow, thank you so much. See you later.